everyone, so today I'm doing lip swatches. If you saw my recent Sephora haul, you saw I bought a bunch more of the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. So these are what I'm going to swatch today. I've already done one swatch video with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I will link it down below. I'll also link down below my makeup that I'm wearing today. There is a tutorial. So long story short, I love these. I love the color range. I love how long it, they last on my lips. They feel so comfortable. The packaging is really cute. I like how long and sleek it is. So I definitely recommend these. So the first shade I'm gonna swatch is called Bow and Arrow and it is a beautiful like brown beige nude. These have a really really light texture as well like they feel very thin on your lips. So that's how Bow and Arrow looks. As you can see it's a really beautiful deep color on me but I would still call it quite wearable like it's not too out there. It's still very subtle and easy just to wear with any kind of makeup look. And as these dry they do go completely matte as well. You can kind of see it starting to dry down now. So yeah once again that is called Bow and Arrow. The next color I have here is called Noble and this is a little bit of a lighter peachier nude. Here's how it looks next to Bow and Arrow so you can see it's a lot lighter. So that's how Noble looks. It's a really beautiful everyday just peachy nude. This one you do have to play around with a little bit more just to make sure there's no streaks because it is so fair. But I find as soon as it starts to dry, it kind of settles and goes a little bit more even if that makes sense. So I wouldn't call it streaky, you just kind of have to play around with it a little bit more than the other ones. Once again, that's called Noble. I love it with this makeup look as well. It looks so good with these like bronzy kind of eyes. Next I have the shade Melancholia. Hopefully I got that right. I've been trying to learn how to pronounce this word for the longest time. <laughs> I am terrible. This is just a really beautiful light dusty pink. Quite cool toned. So that is how Melancholia looks on my lips. It's so pretty. If you like a good baby pink, this is a really beautiful one because it's not too garish on your skin. It's quite wearable. It's not too bam. <laughs> I really, really like this color. Next up is my personal favorite shade. This is called Lovesick. You may have seen this in my April favorites. I'll link my April favorites down below. So compared to Melancholia, Lovesick is a little bit darker and more purpley. It's like a mauve pink. So like a little bit purple, but still pinky. It's very on trend at the moment. It is so beautiful. I just have been wearing it to death. So that's how Lovesick looks. It is so stunning. I feel like it would look good on almost any skin tone as well. Like fair, tanned, deep skin tones. It would be a beautiful like mauve nude on a deeper skin tone. I just am obsessed with this. So once again, that's called Lovesick, my favorite. <laughs> By the way, these dry quite quickly. So if you're not used to liquid lipsticks, they may be a little bit tricky to get on because you don't really want to layer them up. There's enough pigmentation in one layer. If you start doing too many layers, they can start to feel quite sticky and they dry quickly. So you want to work quickly. <laughs> like when I push my lips together, there's a slight tackiness, but it's not anything to be bothered about. You know what I mean? When you're just talking, you can't feel it. So once you start building it up too much, you can start getting sticky. So just keep that in mind. You want to work quite quickly with these. That's how it looks when it's completely dry. <sighs> Love it. Next up is the shade Double Dare. I haven't actually tried this one on yet. Oh my goodness, it's so stunning. It's basically like a rosy brownish color, like a pinky brown. This might be a new favorite. It's that perfect kind of English rose nude kind of color. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I keep repeating myself. I'm like, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty, I love it. Seriously though, Kat Von D has a knack for picking amazing, amazing colors. Every single color is just so beautiful so far. So once again, that is called Double Dare. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kato Potato just texted me. <laughs> I love her. Seriously, ice cream too. I love Jeffree Star. It's like one of my makeup idols. But anyway, next up is Lolita. In my first lip swatch video, again, it is linked down below. Um, I did swatch Lolita too. So this is the original. So this is what Lolita looks like. Again, it's kind of like a rosy nude brown. It's quite vampy looking. It's quite muted and quite dulled down. Like it's not bright at all. I really like it. I think I actually like Lolita too a little bit more. Who's with me? This is still beautiful though. It's really pretty. Next, I'm gonna do the shade Mother. 
This is so beautiful. It's like a deeper kind of bright berry pink. It's very bold. So this is how Mother looks once it's completely matte. It's so beautiful, so bold. I feel like it's the perfect autumn lip if you want some color because it's still not too bright. But it's got that really bold hit of color instead. So yeah, that is Mother. Next is the last pink shade I have here and it's called Beloved. This is more of a warm pink. So that's what Beloved looks like. This is right up my alley. I love warm pinks. I just feel like they're really flattering on my skin tone and I just love it to pair them with like a warm smoky eye or a warm neutral eye or whatever. This is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorites. Once again, that is called Beloved. Oh, I kind of lied. There's another pink, but it's a very deep, deep pink. This one is called Bachelorette. This is so beautiful as well. Once again, that's called Bachelorette. It is so bold, so bright. It's like a warm, bold, pinky, reddish pink. But it's definitely pink. It's not red, but you know what I mean? Like it gives that kind of effect. It's so stunning. I would love to see this with like a gold eye look. Next up is the shade Santa Sangre. Sangre? Santa S I don't know. This is a really bright red. How cool is that? This must be one of the best red lipsticks there is. It is so pretty. I love bright red. I need to start wearing reds more often during the daytime. I just, I don't know. I'm just scared. Once again, there's Santa Sangre. Santa Sangre, I don't know. Next is a deeper red, and this is called Nosferatu. Nosferatu, something like that. Here it is next to Santa Sangre. Sangre, Sangre. So that one's brighter, and then Nosferatu is a bit darker. But still kind of bright as well. It's not completely like, you know, dull or anything. It's like a blood red. It looks like it has a pink undertone to it. This is so beautiful. It's so sexy. It like reminds me of like vampires and stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. It's so vibrant, but still like deep. As I said, it reminds me of just blood. So yeah, once again, that's Nosferatu. Next, I'm going to do the shade Exorcism. And this is like a really deep plum kind of purple. Is it a grape purple or a plum purple? These are the real questions in life. So once again, that is exorcism. Stunning, deep, bold purple, but it's not too purple. It's got that kind of red undertone to it, so it's still quite wearable. It's not just like straight up purple on your lips. It's very warm. I really like it. Next up is Damned. This is the darkest shade I have. And then the last one I'm gonna try on is called Vampire, because I wanna take a thumbnail using Vampire. <laughs> so yeah, this one that I'm trying on now is called Damned. This is like a really, really, really dark, dark, dark purple kind of color. So once again, that's called Damned. I feel like it's another one where you have to work a little bit more carefully just to make sure it goes on nice and even because this is like a slight bit patchy, but it's nothing to bother me too much. Otherwise, alternatively, you could just use it on top of a lip liner. Other than that, the shade is so cool. It's so vampy, super dark, super bold, super out there. So if you love a good bold lip, this is perfect. Once again, that is Damned. And then as I said, the last shade I'm trying on is Vampire. This is a really pretty like red, purpley red, deep color. It has quite a bright undertone to it, even though it is a very like deep color. It's got that subtle brightness to it. This is so cool. So yeah, that's Vampire. It is absolutely stunning. Name is perfect for this. Like it reminds me of Vampires in Blood yet again. It is so pretty. I think that might be my favorite dark color. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite and let me know if you have tried these, what color is your favorite on yourself. I would love to hear from you as always. So thank you so much for watching this lip swatch video. I hope it was helpful and interesting and fun to watch. And if it was any of the above, feel free to like this video. Press thumbs up, it really helps me out a lot and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye today I am doing at my Vegas haul so if you didn't know recently I went to Las Vegas with my friend Sally we actually got flown over for a benefit event and it was one of the most fun periods of time of my entire life and we were even hanging out with Janessa from benefit New Zealand she works for benefit and she was so much fun it was just like I was there with a 